it's always a tough place to bowl. Um, Eden Gardens, I think the historical stats says um, three, three uh, economy rate of about three and over um, per day. So, you know, we're going at about 3.8 at the moment, and hopefully we can get that down um, for the remainder of this remainder of this innings. You know, having said that, I thought our guys toiled hard. Um, we know it's always going to be difficult very early on bowling to say like the way he plays his cricket. Um, you know, but uh, you know, credit to all guys for the way they hung in during the course of the day, and obviously to get five wickets um, at the end of the day, this play is still um, a little bit of a reward for for what was a tough day for us. Look, it's obviously disappointing, but you know, it's the nature of subcontinental cricket. You know, the wickets in the subcontinent over the over the years um, has always been like that, and we sort of expect that. Um, it's, it's not really spun a great lot either for the spinners just yet. Um, you know, so those are things that we've spoken about, uh, and we expect that. And you know, and, and credit to Kimar for the way Kimar um, came back after after the Test match in in um, in Dhaka, where he he tried very hard and didn't get much reward. You know, it's good to see him get a wicket at the end of the day's play, uh, and and having bowled um, three really good spells for us during the day as well. So that was good for him, and hopefully he can he can build on that tomorrow. Look, yeah, it was a tough decision. Obviously, you look at the pitch and you think maybe you can use you can play two spinners. Um, again, you look at all the, the sort of historical evidence. Um, you weigh up the, 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 what you might get from the second spinner in a place like India, where they bat and line up, or they grew up all grew up on playing spin, um, as opposed to the, the, the extra pace of Kimar, you know. And um, we, we obviously went with Kimar, uh, and it's and it's worked out quite well for us. Um, you know, I thought he bowled very well today. Um, obviously, with Ravi, Ravi Ram Paul. Missing, um, Kimar came in and filled that filled that space quite well. Raul Dravid is, is, is obviously a class batsman. He's been that way for the best part of nearly 20 years. Um, he's been in great form this year already. I think I saw something flashed up on the board that said he's he's now the leading run scorer this year in Test cricket. You know, and, and for, with his appetite for runs, I'm sure he'll 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 make runs um, in Australia as well. You know, it was obviously very good to get him out this evening, and that gave everybody a lift, um, especially with. <coughs> Young Craig Braffitt um, getting that wicket, uh, so that, that's something very good for us in the dressing room. So it's nice that the bowlers don't have to come back and and, and see Raul walking out tomorrow morning to, to take guard again. Not really. I think you know that's something for the captain to weigh up on the field. The captain speaks to, to his bowlers, see how they're feeling, uh, not just not just physically but mentally as well. Um, you know, you had Raul at that time. Raul was in. On, on a, just just past his hundred and, and Laxman was obviously set as well, you know. So the captain, having considered it, I, I suppose, think that maybe get through the rest of the day, get the bowlers fresh tomorrow, and come hard at, at them again, you know. And as it as it turned out, not taking a new ball got us a wicket because Craig would not have bowled that those two overs in, in that case.